So this is how smart my husband and brother-in-law are. They're gonna go stand up on our roof and try to get some raccoon family out of our chimney using a metal wire and some PVC pole. You guys remember the last vlog when I was bitching about, maybe it was two vlogs ago, I was complaining about a noise coming from our exhaust or our furnace or something. It's a family of raccoons. There's a mom and two babies. And so now instead of paying, you know, a ton of money to get somebody to come out here and do it, John and Dan are just gonna risk their lives trying to get them out themselves. <laughs> so they're hooking a bunch of PVC together and they're gonna take that like, what is that? like? Metal wiring? Yeah, this is metal wire coated with plastic. And then they're gonna put that through and make a pull snare. Yeah. But it's uh, like 30 feet knot. long. I'm gonna do a slip knot. Do a crimp on one side to keep it from moving, and then the other side you'll be able to pull it through to slip it. See, now before, I could have talked John out of this. But since we have Dan here saying, <laughs> no, yeah, we could totally do that. Let's go do that at 10 o'clock at night. This is what's happening. I want it. Yeah. Oh my god, it's so little and cute, but I'm so happy it's out of my house! <laughs> Good morning, so it is 7 o'clock. We are on our way, or John is taking me to my 10K that I have this morning. It's been a while since we've done a day in the life. I hope you guys enjoyed those like weird smorgasbord of clips that I pieced together, but in the live stream you guys said you wanted to see all the clips I had, with it, but I don't, I don't know how much sense they made, so sorry. Um, uh, yeah, so we started yesterday officially our staycation 2018. So exciting. Good luck. With no kids. My parents took our kids last night. We dropped them off with them for an entire week. They're not coming back until next Friday, and it feels almost surreal. This is the longest I've been away from the kids. I say that every time, but we've slowly, as you guys know, over the last year, built up to being able to be away from them for a week. Because Kaya, you guys know, is a little bit of homebody, a little bit of mama's girl. I probably should have left her a little bit more when she was little, and not in a sense that like, oh, like I'm being a bad mom. But she was too cute and cuddly and never wanted to leave her. I took her everywhere. So leaving her for the first time when she was like, what, two or three was really hard because she just was not used to being left ever with a babysitter, with anybody. So it's huge that she's at grandma and grandpa's for a week. But anyways, so we have a lot of house projects we need to do. And um, my sisters are coming tonight to spend the night and hang out a little bit. We're going to this neat place tomorrow with some friends to celebrate our anniversary. That was a few days ago, nine years together. Woo woo, we're doing it. And yeah. That's, that's that. I don't know why I set myself up for a 10K, which meant me waking up at 6 a.m. on the first day of our staycation, but I just, this is a run that I've been wanting to do for a long time, but we've always been out of town or I've been sick, so I thought this would be a good chance to do it, and we don't have the kids, so John can just kind of hang out if he wants or just, you know, go home or come back. We're getting our house painted right now, so I don't know. But anyways, I'm excited. One week without kids. Oh, and did I mention John's on vacation this entire time? It's exciting. For my job as a sanitation engineer. No, remember somebody said you're a strip club owner. I like that one better. I mean, I don't like it, but it's I just really think it's fun. I just I think it's that. funnier. Well, or you could just be the spy that everybody thinks you are. So it's 10:28. Me and John actually just got done enjoying a very okay breakfast. Anyways, we are on our way to take Nuna. We stopped by the house and picked up Nuna Girl because. She has been such a good dog lately, and I feel like sometimes she gets kind of neglected. Not neglected, you guys know. She never gets neglected. But sometimes with three kids and stuff in the house, you know, she gets left because we have to go and do stuff, and then she's at home by herself. So now that the kids are gone, we're like, let's go take Nuna and do something nice. So we just stopped by the house real quick, and we're going to take her to go get one of her favorite bones at her favorite dog bakery. What are you sniffing, Nuna? And then maybe check out this place that has, like, self-serve, like, dog bathing stations because she needs a bath, she's kind of stinky. But I did really well on my run, not as fast as, I guess it was my only my third fastest 10K, uh, but I did like 11, around 11 minute miles, I finished in like an hour and 14 minutes, so not too bad for six miles, 6.4 miles, six, yeah. But not my best either. I talked to the kids, I FaceTimed them while we were at the restaurant and they didn't even really want to talk to us. I think we haven't been gone long we enough We haven't yet. been gone long. They haven't been gone long enough. But it was really nice because the last time you guys remember last year when we did a staycation, like the first day when we FaceTime, Kaya melted down and was like wiping away tears and it like broke my heart. And this time she's kind of like, hi, bye. So, progress. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
So we've been home for a while now, a couple hours, and we've just been cleaning up the house. John's taking a leisurely break with the dog and the little neck pillow that Garnier sent me. Thanks, Garnier. My husband really likes it. It's actually a really nice neck pillow. Like, it blows all of my neck pillows that I bought from, like, airports and, like, Amazon and stuff out of the water. It's amazing. It's, like, really structured and ties in the front. And it's nice and soft. And Nuna's all clean, so John's cuddling her. I know. I still need a trip. I need to grind the back of her legs, or feet still. I did the front already. And I cut her little booty hair. But I'm kind of working on cleaning up my office area because over the last few, like weeks of traveling and doing all that stuff i've kind of just like been just tearing apart my like whenever i you know pack for a trip or unpack from a trip everything just like lays out so i finally am wiping down everything doing my monthly dusting and deep cleaning of everything and i'm just realizing that i need to get rid of a bunch of stuff because you guys know me i have my favorites i find new favorites and i like stick with those and i like don't use other stuff and i just it just i don't know clutter too many things stress me out so I need to start getting rid of stuff and selling stuff and gifting stuff and donating stuff because I just can't I can't handle it I'm doing laundry right now and I gotta go wash uh, Ava's bed sheets because my sisters are coming to visit and stay the night and yeah it's just kind of one of those days for us we're just trying to get everything cleaned up so we can relax for the next few days why is there so much shit underneath the couch so much stuff underneath the couch. Why? Why is there... No, no. Get your paw out of the way. You're so cute, Nuno, but I'm trying to show them all the, all the crap underneath our couch. Why? Why? Why, Nuno? Why? Are you putting that stuff underneath the couch? Are you? Are you? <laughs> Also gonna run this dehumidifier. I got this. You guys remember that company from Amazon? I'll link this if anybody's looking for a mini humidifier. Don't know how well it works or dehumidifier. Um, the company sent me this in the middle of winter, and I'm like, dude, our house is so dry right now. This is the worst time for you to send me a dehumidifier. Humidifier, yes. Dehumidifier, no. But I was just talking to John. I'm like, you know what? Maybe I should set this up in the office because our office is like underneath the panel carpet panels is just like cement and it's drywall this is the room that one of the rooms we remodeled but uh it just gets a lot of moisture down here because we are half underground so it's humid out right now and so the basement starts kind of smelling a little dank and it's just from the humidity so i was like oh maybe i should set this up and run it so i'm gonna see how well it works so we're cleaning up the backyard we got the inside cleaned up which makes me happy John's mowing the lawn. You can see we have our gutters out. We're replacing our gutters and uh, repainting them. Oh, it's such a, it's like a lot of work, guys. Like, it's a lot of work. We're trying to clean up underneath there from last fall. This is what I was talking about earlier. I transplanted, um, we tore up our entire front garden bed. So, instead of getting rid of those plants because I've been growing them for nine years, I brought them back here and I filled in this and they're all really happy. They're looking really good. Um, I'm excited about that. We're gonna rip this completely out and uh, put pavers and we're gonna move our grill over here. We have to build up the dirt over here because our neighbors, all of their water comes down and it just sits right there and floods this area and it's like eating away at our foundation. Um, it's ruining our fence posts and I don't know, they don't wanna redirect it somewhere else so we have to figure out a solution. Um, even though it's not, yeah, we have to figure out a solution that's not like super expensive. Planted my herbs. This is not usually where they go. Although when we have the papers out, I will have them here and I'll have the grill next to them. Um, but usually they're sitting over there. But as you guys know, we're getting our house painted. So as you guys can see, they're like, you know, they power wash our house twice. They're trying to get all the old uh, paint off. But I planted, let's see, I have cilantro, two different types of basils, I have parsley, then rosemary, and then that's just a mom that I got for free on Mother's Day. Then moving back here, this is another project I'm gonna be working on. 
tomorrow or sometime next week. We built this sandbox last year, actually exactly a year ago, last Memorial Day weekend. And I need to sand it down and uh, restain the whole thing um, just because it needs a little bit of work. And then stepping over all the gutters, coming back here. This is actually a big thing that John made me for Mother's Day. I was super excited. He made me my compost bin. So I found this online on Pinterest, like I saw a picture of it. And then um, I found some plans roughly for them. John tweaked them a little bit. As you can see, it like decomposes super fast. So we have one right here and then another on the other side. So when one is full and being, you know, whatever, you do the other side. Um, so I'm really excited. It looks really, really nice out here too next to the shed. We laid some stone out here. We gotta do one more layer of the white stone. I like the white river rock better than this like crushed limestone that we had. So I gotta get six more bags and cover that, but that's just a nice little corner now. And then heading over to the other corner of our yard. All my daylilies that I planted last year are doing really well. Our raspberry bush is doing really well considering my mom and dad and somebody else has taken starts from them. It's still doing really well, but this is the vegetable garden that I built. Um, I built this raised bed, I wanna say two weeks ago, and it was really, really easy. It's pretty, it's pretty simple to figure it out, but I have two tomato plants right here. I have a pepper. I have two cherry tomatoes back there, a cucumber, actually two different types of cucumber, zucchini, um, yellow squash. These are three different peppers that John wanted. We have some carrots, some onions, and some strawberries. And then up here, because I had to move them from the patio because the chipmunks were getting to them for some reason, I have my mint, which I plant in a separate pot because it goes crazy. This lettuce is not doing well. I'm really upset. Whatever was, whatever was over by the patio was eating it. And then my um, just random salad thing that I use for sandwiches and stuff. So that is all out here as well. Yeah, our yard's looking pretty nice. And then this is a soccer goal I built. I don't know if I told you guys or showed you guys this, but that was one of the other projects I had going on um, a couple weeks ago. I built this, not built it, built it, but like it came in a kit, like in a small box, and I put it all together by myself for the kids. I'm really excited about that. We pull it out and we play soccer. It's a lot of fun. But that is what our backyard looks like right now. So lots of projects going on, very exhausting, but I'm hoping that our backyard will look amazing after. We do want to put a permanent above ground pool up, I think in the next two years after this one has worn itself out because it's kind of annoying having to break it down and put it back up every year. So I think that's what we'll do in the next couple years, but our pool is working out pretty well as of now, but we're gonna set that up this week. We had to replace the filter because it broke last year and so they're sending us a new one, thankfully, because I bought the warranty on it. So that comes Ooh, fancy. So it is Sunday morning and we're outside our friend's house waiting for them. We're picking them up. We're um, gonna go jump on a boat and go hang out on an island for a little bit today. And yeah, this is kind of like our I wouldn't say it's our anniversary trip. I shouldn't say that. This whole week is kind of our anniversary gift. We don't have the kids. But yeah, my sisters came into town last night, so I didn't vlog at all. We just had a nice dinner with them, and that's basically it. I didn't want to vlog at all because, well, my sisters like their privacy. And yeah, I woke up at, and again, 6.14 this morning, second day without kids, and we're waking up earlier than we would with our kids here on the weekend. <laughs> I don't know what our issue is. This is what we end up doing. We're like, oh, let's have a relaxing staycation. But then we're like, let's try to get in everything we wouldn't be able to do with kids. So, uh, but anyways, I'm excited for today. It should be a fun time. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just really tired and I need to poop. And you're ticklish. My, mon my morning poop didn't come out, stop. Oh, there it is. My camera's broken. Great. My butt's vibrating. Oh, it's Oh God, there's one in my hand. So usually where spider webs are, there are spiders. And ticks. And ticks. <laughs> Oh my god, where is this? Oh, this. 
black squirrel. Oh yeah, they have black squirrels. Um, do you guys see how many like mosquitoes are flying in the air? Yeah. I'm not getting bit though. I'm not getting bit either. But they're still flying in my face. Alright, Aubrey. Do this. Walk like this. It's real hot in here. It is real hot in here. John's trying to get one flying, it's like in his face. <laughs> home or in town we just dropped off our friends Tim and Aubrey and we had a really good time it was fun um, it's always nice to do like a nice little like day trip somewhere we're happy to be home definitely though like we are exhausted I look like five shades darker because um, <laughs> yeah we were in the Sun all day so that and walking around I'm glad we got a golf car but I'm just exhausted John's exhausted all right guys so I kind of skipped a day uh, yesterday was Memorial Day Monday. Today is Tuesday. Um, yesterday was just crazy busy. We woke up again super early this time because our painters were actually outside of our window like on the second floor. Um, we could hear them through our window because they were painting and we needed to like move something out our window air conditioner out of the window for them. So anyway so we were up and then we like did some yard work and then we actually had friends come over for Memorial Day like for a cookout our painters actually left because it was like too hot like it's 90 something degrees here today yesterday it was even hotter uh, but they left because the paint was just drying way too fast but they're back here again outside painting but anyways we had friends over for a cookout and it was a lot of fun and then me and my friend Aubrey uh, who was in the clips earlier she came um, we went to the flower place and got some like pots and potted some of our flowers and it was just a really good day like we just all hung out for a really long time John got to play Xbox like him and Tim and his brother brought their Xboxes over and then we had like three TVs downstairs just like they had a land what is it called land party I don't know what that means but anyways it was a good time for all we had a really good time and then we went to a movie actually late last night, like 10.55. I was like, let's go see a movie. So Daredevil 2 was playing, or not Daredevil, <laughs> that was a horror. I hope they never make a Daredevil 2. Uh, we saw Deadpool 2 and um, came home and went straight to bed because we were exhausted because we've been waking up at 6 a.m. every morning on our vacation. But this morning we got around, we got to sleep in until about 8.30. Painter showed up a little bit earlier, so we kind of like, you know, felt like we needed to get up and around. Also, we only have a couple more days before the kids come home and we still have a lot of stuff we need to do. So we just got back from Menards and Home Depot. I got two new pots actually because I potted my flowers, they look really nice, I'll show you them. 
but I found some planters that I like even better because the front of our house is almost done and these will just look so much better in the front. So I'm gonna pot two more flowers because you can never have too many beautiful flowers. And yeah, we got gutters, we gotta finish our gutters. We're working on our lampposts in the front, let's refinish it. So much stuff going on guys. And we're gonna start working on our pool, getting that set up, and then our patio. We're gonna go and pick up a few tons of gravel and pea gravel and stones and we're gonna put together our front beds tomorrow. So, oh, I'm exhausted, but I'm making lunch right now. Yeah. So we are putting up our gutters. As you can see, they're painted black. I was a little bit nervous about that, but I think it'll look nice. Um, and our shutters are charcoal. Ooh, this is nerve wracking. Yeah, I'm getting the middle. Sorry guys, I can't vlog anymore. I gotta get the middle. Well, I think this, this top end here was... So I was standing right there holding up the middle. But that's drilled in. So now they're... Yeah, now I can just vlog them. Because my job is done for this section of the house. Because that's where it was right there. So I think I'm gonna end this vlog with showing you guys the flowers that I planted. Because... This video is getting long, and tomorrow we have lots of projects. We have two more days without the kids. Um, today's Tuesday, so we have Wednesday and Thursday. Kids come home Friday. So tomorrow we are doing um, a patio in the front, so we're gonna go get a bunch of rock and um, stepping stones and figure that out. <sighs> and then work on that all tomorrow, along with some last minute projects that we need to get done, and of course me do some laundry as well. So I'll show you guys all of the pots that I planted to end this video, and yeah. These are the ones I actually planted to go in the front of the house, but then I found some planters, which we'll show you in a second, that match the house better and that were nicer. So these are actually gonna stay back here. I'll leave one on that corner and one on that corner of the patio. And then here we have the lamp post that me and John refinished. And then these are the flower pots that I got for the front. I made the mirror images of each other because I'm a little OCD. <laughs> so that way they look exactly the same from any angle on each corner of our patio. And the beige like just looks nicer and they're a little bit bigger too, which is nice. I also redid our mailbox. So, yeah, I gotta spray these though real quick so that they match these for the gutters. And yeah, so I'm gonna let you guys go and I will see you all later.